Hey everybody, what's up? Colby from Sanitarium Productions back again. Today we're taking a look at the uh, 2014 G.I. Joe Club Store Exclusive Havoc Mark II. This particular one comes uh, straight from the factory, bagged. It's not exactly sealed in package, they just have tape on it, but uh, that's the way it comes, so that's the way we have it today. So uh, we're just going to take a look at it, take it out of the bag, and give it a good look over and see what it looks like. So. Stick around and we'll tear into it. Here we have the Jajo Club store exclusive version of the Havoc Mark II <clears throat> sealed in its shipping bag. This was only available through the club store, and you have to be a member of the G.I. Joe Club in order to uh, be able to purchase this from the store. Uh, you can get it secondhand sellers and things like that, but uh, it's retailed for about 42 bucks on the store, I think, when it was released. Um, you may still be able to get it at the store. They typically try to keep these things in stock for as long as they can. This was released in uh, 2014. Uh, they also had the vehicle driver cross country available in the store for a while as well. Um, he was the G.I. Joe Club exclusive figure, membership figure for the year, last year. Uh, but I think he's kind of since sold out. Anyways, this is how it comes shipped from the factory. It is uh, just tape on the back, like all the rest of these that we are used to seeing. So we're just going to uh, cut the tape real quick. Then the bag opens up, and we pour out the contents. We have an accessory kit and we have the vehicle itself. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, accessory kit. So pretty much all the accessory kit is is the uh, ski missiles and the uh, regular missiles that go on this thing. I should note that uh, there is no blueprints or instructions or anything for this particular set. Uh, it comes pretty much pre-assembled except for the missiles here. And pretty much nothing you have to do to it. As you probably have noticed, this is just a repainted version of the uh, old Snowcat. Uh, I think it was released in the 25th line as the Wolfhound. And it was kind of hard to find in the Wolfhound colors. But what they've done is they've kind of rebranded it as the uh, Mark II of the Havoc. Uh, we may do a video in the near future comparing the Mark II with the Mark I. So you can see the kind of classic cross country with his uh, trusty Havoc battle system. So, looking at feature sets here, we've also obviously got the uh, missile launcher itself. It raises up, lowers, and it does spin 360 degrees here. We also have this really cool uh, engine hatch that just fits down inside here. And it's removable. You can pick it up and put it back in and do whatever you want to with it. It's pretty awesome. It's got this really cool windshield wiper blade that uh, pops off really easily. <laughs> but it also pops back in place really easily too. So, Then the uh, canopy itself opens up and you can fit two drivers in here. There's a steering wheel in here as well. Some nice detail work on the inside cockpit. So let's take a look at the accessories here. We have the two ski missiles. Uh, we have to put those together 
and we'll see if we can do that real quick here. So there is um, a tiny little hole here in the back, as you can hopefully see right here. And then on the actual ski itself, there's these two like uh, pins in the back. You just uh, line up that hole with those two pins and um, that's pretty much all you got to do to assemble these missiles. Uh, then they have the classic T-bar on the side here. So the missile is just attached to the back of the uh, vehicle by just pressing down on them. And you're good to go. I should also note uh, that on the skis themselves, there are actually two figure peg, uh, feet pegs here. So if you wanted to have one of your guys riding on the ski itself you just uh, kind of put them on there uh, they can actually ride on here with the missile as well but it might be a little silly for them to be uh, you know cruising with a missile you would think they would unload the missile first before they launched it but who knows you may have you know a little bit more a dangerous side than I do I wouldn't be riding a missile they just attach to the back on the side just like so and then we have the uh, four main missiles they just slide into the back of this press down until it locks into place like so then to fire them there is this slide lever you just uh, basically run through them all until they all launch. And it does a pretty good job. Uh, they actually shoot pretty far too, so it's a it's pretty cool. Nice little mechanism that they have in there. So, of note, there are also some foot pegs on the sides here. There's uh, two on each side. Uh, they're underneath these missile treads, uh, missile tracks. So you may have to remove the missile before you can set your guy on there, but uh, they do come off pretty easily, so that's no big deal. There's also one on each side here where the little step up is, foot pegs on them, and then on the back, we have another two foot pegs on the, the sway bar here so folks can ride on the back. There's also this nice little trailer hitch on the back that you can hook stuff up to. And pretty much that is uh, the Mark II. And this thing is kind of loose and keeps popping out. But it's fine. Um, so this thing really does not resemble anything at all like the original Havoc. Um, but it's understandable why they may not want to retool that big of a vehicle to release into the line. Uh, but that being said, the color schemes, the green and the orange, work really well with the ideal of the original Havoc. It works well with the uh, the driver cross country who is sold separately. Uh, so overall, it, it it works. You kind of have to squint a little bit to consider it a true Mark II version of the Havoc. But uh, if nothing else, you can just pretend like it's a regular state of the meal, you know, olive drab green snow cat for all intents and purposes. That's what it is. No big deal, but uh, they are calling it the Havoc Mark II, but we can also call it just the uh, jungle version of the Snowcat. How's that? Uh, overall, it's a pretty awesome vehicle. Um, it's everything you would expect out of the Snowcat. Nothing you would expect out of the Havoc, but the Snowcat by itself is an awesome vehicle, so I'm not going to ding them on that. It's got nice headlights up front. Searchlight here in the it's got a nice little um, 
peg hole for an antenna that was never included in any of the vehicle releases. But if you have one of the older, just spare antennas laying around, you can fit it in there. Um, size comparison, again, we don't have Carl's Country with us today. But what we do have is our trusty sidekick beachhead. So looking at it this way, the vehicle is a little bit wider than the figure is tall. Uh, so it's about one and a quarter figure lengths. Lengthwise, we have one, two, two and a half, almost three. And uh, they did retool all this stuff so the foot pegs fit in with the 25th anniversary line of the figures. They all fit in here really well. We can pop this up real quick. They sit in the cockpit really well. Everything works really well for it, so no worries there. Nice G.I. Joe stickers in the front. Okay, overall, it's a very cool vehicle. Uh, if you don't already have one, try to pick it up. It's uh, still relatively easy to find. So pick one up if you can. It makes a great addition to your collection. I'll try to get a uh, 360 degree view for you here in a little while. Uh, overall though, it's a really cool vehicle. If you pretend that it's not actually a Havoc <laughs> and just take it for what it is, the green version of the Snowcat. Overall, highly recommended. So there we have the 2014 G.I. Joe Club Store exclusive Havoc Mark II. As I said before, it's a really awesome vehicle by itself. Um, it's a terrible update to the actual Havoc vehicle itself. But if you can get past that and just go with the fact that it's a, you know, a green colored snowcat, uh, it really works really awesomely and it's very much worth your, the effort to try to get it. Like I said before, it doesn't go for a very high price right now, so um, if you can pick it up, go ahead and do that. It's highly recommended. It is pretty awesome. Again, not a Havoc, but for the vehicle that it actually is, it is pretty awesome. And the uh was a little worried about how the orange scheme was going to work, but uh, overall, I really can't complain about it. It works just a lot better than I thought it was going to. The green color, the orange, it just works, so... As you know, a regular just army vehicle, troop builder kind of thing, it's, uh does an amazing job. It is not a Mark II for the Havoc, but if you can get past that, it's pretty awesome. So, subscribe below, check out some of our past videos, look for new videos coming in the future. And if you have any comments or anything that you'd like to see in the future, you know, feel free to share those below. Until next time, yo Joe.